And I wonder whether it was sort of these concerns about uh, wages in New York City that made you feel Uber was uh, trading more pro uh, attractively or something else? I think it was more that Meta's had a, um, a great rally uh, year to date. I think it's well justified. I just think the risk reward just gets a little bit less compelling here. And I like Uber. I like the setup, despite the fact that the CFO it looks like the CFO is going to be departing. News came right after we uh, made it our top pick, so the timing wasn't great. And it does make me a little bit cautious, but not enough to undermine the thesis, which is we got value catalysts coming up in the next 12 months, potential inclusion in the S&P 500, the attaining and the sustaining of gap earnings profitability. And I think they're going to start buying back stock. Um, so I got these value capitals mm. for a name that fundamentally we think is holding up really well. So that made Uber our number one pick. Uh, and, and where does it, I mean, moving Meta not to number two, but farther down the list, what does that say about either the year-to-date appreciation or your view on uh, thread potential revenue, uh, which made some news this week? Well, I'm, I'm a, a, a thread is just fascinating. Um, 100 million users in less than a week, you know, wow. And what it says something is that that's the power of the Instagram platform. So you start off with almost 2 billion users, you know, monthly users on Instagram. And yeah, you can take 5% of those, 10% of those, and, and migrate them into a, a, new, um, a new app, a new communications platform where there probably hasn't been, in all fairness, a lot of innovation in a couple of years. So there's a chance here for Threads to do something really differentiated. I hope they can do it, but you know we'll see. It's still way too early to know. I'm just really impressed by what they've been able to do so far. But in terms of putting Meta as uh, number three, to me, it's also, I like the setup on uh, Amazon here. And I think if you get any whiff of acceleration in AWS revenue growth, that's the segment that's most underperformed. That's the biggest driver of the underperformance in Amazon stock, I'd argue, over the last two to three years. Any sort of whiff of reacceleration, I think there's a lot of upside in the Amazon shares, and I think you are going to get that reacceleration. Um, when it comes back to Uber, though, talking about the setup, Mark, uh, you know, it, when a stock's up 101 percent for the last 12 months, it doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't have a lot more to go, but sometimes it can give people pause. Why not you? <laughs> Well, uh, you know, we had the setup here is that these stocks just got crushed last year for, for a lot of good reasons, too, mostly just a dramatic spike in interest rates. But then we headed into a soft recessionary environment. It was unclear how well some of these assets would really hold up. Well, guess what? Uber mobility and delivery have, have both held up really well. I mean, they're more utility like than discretionary. And then in the meantime, you've had this dramatic gap up in profitability. We finally had our finally got free cash flow out of Uber beginning in the June quarter last year. And every single quarter it's marched up. Now, that's not always going to be the case going forward. I guarantee it won't be. But it will be continuing to march up. And you still have a really interesting valuation play here, David. Despite the run up in the shares, I still think, see this thing as with a 5% free cash flow yield on 24, 7% free cash flow yield on 25. And for an asset, yeah, I think it's the only mega cap name that I look at, maybe across tech, that I think can sustain well north of 20 percent revenue growth and we got a profitability really ramping up so you got you know much higher than that like 40 percent free cash flow earnings EBITDA or I think it well warrants those multiples if not higher so I think there's more of a re-rating coming on Uber that's why I still like it that's why it's our top pick here